When my grandmother died, she became an angel. Not straight away, but after having given it some thought, she became an angel. I had told her not to die because I didn't want to be without her. She said, I'm really sorry. However, it's not something you really decide yourself. I don't really know what will happen to me when I'm dead. But then again, it might be quite exciting. You'll become an angel, I said. And then I cried. The day grandmother was buried, I cried and cried. But then that night, she came to visit me. What are you crying for? She asked. Well, I'm crying because you're dead. Am I dead? Well, 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 but I'm sitting right here, aren't I? Yes, but you don't look like yourself. And we buried you this afternoon. Mm, that is sad. I'm actually feeling rather all right. Then Grandmother took out the vacuum cleaner and started to vacuum clean. We'll wake up the whole house, I said. Never mind, said Grandmother. It's a right old mess in here. Now I'll show you how nice it'll be when it's all tidy. And she got me to clear up my room. We worked all night. The next day, Grandmother went to the kindergarten with me. My grandmother died yesterday, and now she doesn't really know what to do with herself, I explained. Oh, really, said the teachers. Are you sad about it? Not really, because she's looking after me. Grandmother said hello to everyone, but it seemed like they couldn't hear her. Oh, they're probably too busy, she said. And then we sat down and painted. I made a painting of a funeral, and grandmother drew a flower. Goodness me, I am so good at this. I really want to be a painter. That evening, Grandmother did feel that she was dead. You were right about what you said. I can feel it now, and I'm not feeling myself any longer. I feel so light, and I feel like smiling all the time. That's because you're becoming an angel, I said. What do angels do? asked Grandmother. Well, they fly up to the other angels in heaven, I told her. But I would much rather be here with you, she said. Well, you can always come back and visit me. That's true, said Grandmother. Then I better get going. Take care, my precious. And then she flew straight up through the ceiling and disappeared. Now Grandmother has become an angel, I said. Yes, I believe she has, said my mother. And then we didn't really need to talk about it again. Many days and many weeks passed by. I felt so lonely and I couldn't quite figure out why Grandmother didn't come back and visit me. But then one evening, just as I had gone to bed, she came flying through the window. She'd gotten wings and looked much younger. Ah, there you are, my boy, in bed. Yes, in bed. Where have you been? Oh, so many places. Do you want to hear what I've been up to? First, I came to heaven. And you were absolutely right. I am dead. Have you become an angel? Kind of. At least I've got wings. And I've met a lot of people who have also gotten wings. They told me what I had to do. Do you have to work in heaven? Yes, isn't it wonderful? You know how I love to keep myself busy. Oh, what do you have to do? Let me tell you, as soon as you've got your wings, you get sent straight back to earth again. And then you have to help as much as you possibly can. It isn't as easy as you think, though, because you must remember, I'm invisible. I can see you. Yes, it's slightly different because you know me already. Oh, never mind, tell me. Well, first I found a family who were sound asleep in their burning house. They'd forgotten a pot on the stove and it had caught fire, so there were flames in the whole kitchen. What did you do then? 
I ran into the house and tried to wake them up, but they kept on snoring. Then I saw a little dog. I tickled it and woke it up, so it started barking. And then the whole family woke up and realised the whole house was full of smoke and they managed to stop the fire from burning the house down. Oh, oh t tell me who else you helped. Well, where do I begin and where do I end? Ah, oh, I helped a lady who lived all alone in a house far out in the countryside. She so longed for someone to come and visit her, but nobody ever came. And then I noticed a car along the road, not far from where she lived. The car was well packed with a family who were going on summer vacation. I swiftly flew down, placed a rusty nail on the road. The tyre flattened and the family had to get out of the car and they noticed a house nearby. So they went up to this woman and asked if they could make a phone call and if she could help call the nearby garage. Oh, I don't have any phone, she said, but I do have a cup of coffee. And so they became friends and decided to put up their tent and camp in the woman's garden and spend their whole holiday right there. Oh, tell me some more. Let's see. Ah, yes, I went on a trip to Africa where I discovered some hunters who were about to shoot an elephant. As soon as I noticed them, I picked up a stick and I put it into a nearby beehive. So all the bees got out and they were so angry and they thought it was the hunters. So they chased them far, far away. Have you saved other animals? Yes, I rescued a teddy bear who had gotten lost. It lay under the cupboard and the, the girl couldn't find it. What did you do then? Well, I knocked over some juice by the cupboard and when the mother went to clear it up, she noticed the teddy bear lying there underneath the cupboard. Oh, it must be really good fun being an angel, I said. Yes, indeed it is. It's lovely as long as it lasts, said Grandmother. But um, there is something that is far better. What's that? Mm, that you get to be a human again. What? You wake up and then you're not dead at all? Better than that, said Grandmother. You get born again and become a whole new human being. And you know what? No, you get to choose who you want to be. Oh, well, do you want to be a painter then? Mm, maybe, but first I want to be your little sister because... I so want to come back to you again. But I don't have a little sister, I said. Nope, but you will, said Grandmother. And then she flew up through the ceiling and disappeared. And then Grandmother got reborn. Well, first, Mother got a bit big and then she got bigger. And then she got really big and then she gave birth to a little girl who was a lot smaller than I had imagined. What do you think of your little baby sister? My mother asked me. She looks like grandmother, I said. Yes, doesn't she just, said my mother. And that was all that needed to be said about that.